Hi, I'm Billy Eccles Richter, and I'm one of the pastors of the Sanctuary Worship Team at Grace Avenue United Methodist Church. And I'm Jessica Aziz, and I'm one of the co-pastors of Modern Worship. And we're so excited to be with you today to talk about voter engagement. You know, recently we've been talking about the serenity prayer, which starts by saying, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. But then the next line says, grant me the courage to change the things I can. We think one of the greatest faith privileges we have in our lives is the ability to vote. You know, we live in a world where so often things start to try to change through violence. We have an answer to that. We have a choice in the midst of that. We are given the great opportunity to live in a free society where we can vote. And so as an action of faith, we want to get our church around the idea of how all of us together can express our views through voting. It doesn't matter whether you vote this way or that way, but the fact that we vote is the most important thing that we need to be engaged in. And I am so proud that this year our church has conducted and put together a voter engagement team. Yes, so our plan as a voter engagement team and at Grace Avenue is to become 100% voting congregation that each and every single one of us would use our power to make our voice heard at the ballot box on November 3rd and during municipal elections. And so we have a voter engagement team, a team of amazing people who have worked really hard to help you make a plan to vote. Um, there is a page on our website that's graceavenue.org slash vote. And it's a very user-friendly site to help you make your plan about important dates to keep in mind, how to vote, whether it's in person or by mail, um, when and where. And so again, I invite you to check out that link on our website. And also, we will be registering voters at Grace Chapel September 20th, 27th, and October 4th. So, Grace Chapel folks, if you need to register to vote maybe for the first time, or if you need to update your voter registration, maybe you've moved recently, then that is your opportunity to do that, and we will help answer any questions that you have. So you may be saying to yourself, well, of course I'm gonna vote, I always vote, but here's what's important. You need to make a plan to vote this year because the ballot is gonna be really long. We're not only having a general election, but we're also having all of our municipal elections. And that's why this particular year is so very important. So make a plan to vote. But not only that, you have a sphere of influence. And I know that within your sphere of influence, there may be somebody who's a young person who has never voted before. They need some help to make a plan. You may be in your, in your sphere of influence, have some people who are experienced voters, and it's gonna be hard for them because maybe they just have some health issues and you need to help them make a plan to vote. You may also have some friends and some neighbors who right now are just so apathetic about everything that's going on in the world that they just don't wanna vote. Use your influence here to create a godly confluence where we get out together and we vote and we're able to express our faith in this powerful, powerful way. 2020 is, can be a year of faith and it can be a year of courage. Let's all plan to vote and join together in the voter engagement through Grace Avenue United Methodist Church. Amen.